Grafi I Grafi I Grafi 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 I Grafi I Grafi I I think that's how you say it. how you say that yo for Coco how you say it uh, you don't you don't know either wait wait are you for Coco are you a fake for Coco okay Grafi I Grafi 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 I makes its mark Pokemon Scarlet Pokemon Violet Brand new trailer, let's jump in. Okay, so let's jump right in. I've traveled across the land collecting and recording photos of these mysterious patterns. Okay, not actual gameplay footage. About these strange markings and observe the creature who draws them. Who's it's talking? Grafi Eye. Grafi Eye. Did I get it right? The forest in search of some existing Grafi Eye. I heard there's a chance that a Grafi Eye will come out where a pattern has already been drawn. Ooh, when I finally okay. found this cluster of markings, it was the perfect place to set up my cameras. I used a camera so this that is like great in low light. Even in the dark, it picks up the colors on the trees beautifully. This is like I some Discovery Intro Channel, Let's like deep dive. Footage, shall we? Let's go. So, oh, here. A scatterbug comes into frame. Oh, a scatterbug. You see, it's been lured by a sweet scent coming from the marking. Oh. This pattern also acts as a trap for other Pokemon. Look, we caught a bit of its oh, eye, and there's okay. its tail. Here it is, our Grafii. It's eating berries in front of the camera. Okay, Grafii. How does it look, though? And okay. we've caught it making a mark. Oh. Amazing. Look so how a painting. focused it is. And the colors oh. of the pattern matches the berries it's eaten. We can clearly see oh, that the color okay. Grafii paints with depends on the Pokemon's diet. And you see that's here, cool. It's marking over the top of the stripy pattern that was drawn before. It's claiming territory over another Grafi eye. Ah, here's where it was startled, which made it stop and disappear. Okay. So frustrating. I couldn't see it anywhere, but it triggered the motion sensor light. The motion sensor light. And lo and behold, okay, that's a light. Backup camera. There we go. Out in the open. So incredible. Look at that little guy, bro. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Definitely need a new camera, though. <laughs> and that's... That's it? That's how they end the trailer, bro? What? That's how they end the trailer? That, that was pretty cool. I did like the Discovery Channel, like, vibe of it. Like, the whole thing was, like, being narrated through, like, the lens of the person that is doing the research to try to figure out what this Pokemon is, or at least more of the backstory of this Pokemon. Because it looked like it kind of knew a little bit of it but they wanted to get a video of it on film for whatever reason probably for the pokedex but again i do like this cool this is pretty cool especially to set up like the lore and the background of why this pokemon does this painting stuff why this pokemon is existing in the pokemon world i think it's pretty cool got a lot of vibes of the the pokemon forest where we got um who was revealed that way during pokemon um sword and shield um was it ponyta the rainbow not the rainbow ponyta but the the regional variant of ponyta i think it was and but and again this is pretty dope this is pretty dope like the whole cinematic of this showing this pokemon in his natural habitat again brings it back to life like brings it to life in a way that we're not going to get to experience in the game let's be honest and i think this is pretty cool i think this is pretty cool the pokemon looks dope he looks insane, bro. He looks insane. Let's stop on the um the close up of it. So we got him jumping on these rocks. Look at him, bro. Look at that. Look at that. Yo, he looks so cool. I can't wait to see what kind of attack. Like if the, if you would have told me this was a starter, I would have believed you. I I can't wait to see what this Pokemon attacks are and like typing and stuff like that, as well as what like it, it potentially could evolve into. Because this is like a, a situation where the evolution might be some lit pokemon bro like look at this guy <laughs> this guy looks tight the shine on the eye makes him look tight like you're like yo why are you recording me bro like get up get out get up out of here and he spits the blue into the face of the camera that's pretty cool that's pretty cool overall that's a good that's a good trailer that's a good trailer okay now before we end this video we have another gameplay trailer it says, check out Grafii, a very territorial Pokemon, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, trailer 43 seconds. This is kind of unheard of. To get a cinematic trailer from Pokemon, yes, is one thing, 
But to get a same day, get a second trailer. Granted, they're both small trailers. They could have just easily had this, like, you know, probably at the end of the last trailer. Who knows? We're going to jump in and find out. But, again, pretty cool. Pretty cool that they're doing a whole rollout for this Pokemon. Let's jump in and check it out. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Definitely a gameplay trailer. So I guess that's why they wanted to separate it. Oh my god, look at that tree. Oh, the markings. And the markings look different from the other markings, too. Okay, this is how he looks in game. Alright. Okay. My god, I wish this game was on PS5. <laughs> After playing The Last of Us Part 1 and then looking at this, it's like, oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know why this game to me, I, maybe it's just me, looks worse than Pokemon um, Legends Arceus. And it's just in some some ways. Not in a lot of ways. The trees still look terrible, just like in Pokemon Legends Arceus. The grass still looks the same. It's just certain stuff that just looks bad. And it, I, I think in hand, it's going to look better. Playing in handheld, it is going to look better. I just kind of wish that Pokemon went all out and made it, you know, as quality. I don't know, Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey. I feel like they're like a, a, a grade below or lower than those studios when it comes to Nintendo Switch graphic-wise. I feel like, you know, Xenoblade Chronicles looks years ahead of what a Pokemon game looks like. But granted, they, they're getting there. They're working on it. And hopefully we do get to a, a place where it does look better. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but with, with that out of the way, this trailer was cool. Kind of felt insignificant with without it being attached to the cinematic trailer. But I see why they separated them. This one is just focused morely on the, the Pokemon, how it looks in-game. And I guess they wanted to detach from that. But they could have rolled this out together. They could have easily rolled out the cinematic trailer and said, hey, you know... This is, this is, this part is gameplay. So it's a new Pokemon discovered, Poison Normal. And he, he, he draws with his fingers, with like his middle finger. And he has like a poison attack. It looks like, what is that? Poison Jab? And, oh God. Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just... And that's pretty much it. It's really nothing to take from these trailers. I guess if you wanted to grade, give this both both of these trailers one grade. I'll give it a three. I really like the cinematic trailer more. The in-game trailer felt insignificant. We didn't really get like a full breakdown like how we'd gotten in the cinematic trailer. And I, I think that voiceover would have lended itself well to the gameplay trailer. Like saying the name of the move, the name of the Pokemon, the name of the typing and stuff like that. Getting that breakdown with the voiceover would have been cool. Maybe. But again... Three out of five for me. Let me know what you would give this trailer in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I ain't so comment, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, talking Pokemon, Call of Duty, Fortnite, Fall Guys, wherever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos and to recommend this other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.